the two most frequently used words in the pandemic ravaged India these days are oxygen and plasma. It's remarkable how stripped down to the bare essential life is so very elemental. It's with considerable anguish that I see such a flurry of requests on social media for either oxygen or plasma or both. It makes one realize if any was needed at all, how when it comes to survival, life demands something so elemental. Plasma, as many of you would know, is essentially blood drained of red cells, white cells and platelets. What remains is a yellowish liquid that contains water, salts and enzymes. Plasma constitutes 55% of our blood and is very crucial, but yields and glamour to the red and white cells and platelets. It's a carrier of proteins, nutrients and hormones to the parts of the body where needed. It's also where cells discharge their waste, which plasma then takes to where it can be cleared out. Importantly, in the context of the pandemic, plasma also carries antibodies, clotting factors, and the proteins albumin and fibrinogen. All these are important lifesavers. It is fascinating how life at that level is so clinical and so detached from all the prejudices that we carry in our brains. Blood and plasma will do what they are supposed to do, irrespective of whether they are coursing through the veins of a bigot or a liberal. We easily forget how everything we are anatomically is so agnostic to everything we become intellectually. Remember that.